Hi, I wanted to do a quick review of Asimil's Arabic with Ease. Uh, this is the English course. And the reason I wanted to do this was because when you look online and you search for Asimil uh, Arabic with Ease, you get a lot of negative comments saying how it's so much worse than the French course and that you shouldn't buy it because it was pretty shoddy. And in fact, I actually looked at another review of Arabic with Ease for an older version, and it turns out that this was not unfounded. Um, a lot of the text was handwritten by the author, and it was a very strange handwriting. Um, luckily, nothing like actual Arab handwriting, which is nigh unreadable, but um, definitely very difficult to read nonetheless, and not what you typically find in learner material. But this one, I noticed, has the same number of lessons as the French course that's currently for sale. And when I checked the author, the author is the same as the French course. It's not the same as the copy that was reviewed as having kind of the, the weird problems with handwriting and low quality. So sure enough, um, when I opened it, the first thing I noticed was that everything is now in a normal computer font. It's not handwritten. So here's the first lesson. Um, and as you can see, it's very, very short. It's literally two words. It says the writer wrote. Um, and the audio for this is rather slow. So I think perhaps unusually slow. Um, you could probably get away with going easily 20-30% faster, but uh, I guess they, they felt like it was really important for people to hear it incredibly slowly first. Um, to give you an idea of the pace, we're talking like kataba al katibu, very slow. Um, so slow that it almost sounds emphatic or unnatural. Um, but if you're having problems with it, maybe that's helpful. Um, you can see here that they've got transcriptions for everything in addition to the translation. Uh, I also like the fact here that they use this little underbar. This underbar is used to show um, liaisons in French. And here it shows that the sound of ba on kataba actually links to the definite article in al katibu. So what they have here is more like kataba al katibu. And the speakers indeed say that. Uh, the next thing you'll probably notice is that they have all of the case markers, and the case markers are pronounced. So that means we're talking about modern standard Arabic here. We're not talking about any colloquial dialect. Um, for some, that's a, a benefit. For others, that's a, kind of a, a deal breaker. So it's up to each person. Um, this transcription system actually continues all the way throughout the book. So here we are on lesson 50, and you can see we've got more of the transcription system. 68, everything's transcribed. Um, I also noticed that the uh, grammar here is really good. Um, what I say, or when I say really good, I mean to say that um, some of the irregularities of modern standard Arabic are definitely taken into account. Um, they are not produced with sort of like this uh, laissez-faire attitude of grammar. Um, sometimes you'll find books that ignore the hard or strange parts of modern star standard Arabic's grammar. Um, this one doesn't shy away from them in the slightest, so that's really good. Um, you'll see here these Form 7 and so on. This is a uh, it's kind of a romanized way of dealing with Arabic verbs. Um, you can find this style in Wikipedia as well. Um, it's not the native grammarian description of the verbs, but still useful nonetheless. Um, and quickly jump to the dictionary. You'll see the dictionary contains the same sort of um, transcription, Arabic, and translation. Also, you can see here, this is really useful, the plurals. <laughs> the plurals being given is incredibly important for learning Arabic. Um, so, definitely, um, definitely a fan of that. Again, you can see here they have the verb number 
for beginners. So when you're still looking at a verb and you're not really sure what category it fits into, um, this is very helpful to sort of help learn them. So all in all, um, this course is nothing like the prior courses that um, people complain about online and you'll still see sort of like this uh, superstitious aversion to Asamil's Arabic for English speakers. So um, if you are interested in Arabic and you like Asamil's method, uh, this course is just fine. It's completely safe and um, it's not actually very different from the French course. In fact, if I recall, um, someone had a picture of their first lesson and I believe it was exactly this picture here and this text so um, definitely don't worry about getting the low quality course this seems to be the French course just perfectly translated into English anyway good luck